Hi, the purpose of this very brief presentation is to explain about features, benefits, and why they're so important in your elevator pitch. Features are the things that you are doing to create your product or service. They're the facts, figures, technologies, and details. Uh, so these are the things that you think make your product or service unique. So in the example I had sent out over the weekend, the idea that you might have a burger place where you've got your servers using long boards, or what makes your yoga different is that you're doing it on ice. So those are features, and, and, and they're not bad, and those are things that are important um, to, to understand. And on the worksheet uh, I've given you, uh, you've got things you can use uh, to, to talk about to help you identify what your features are. You can ask yourself questions are, what are the components, what are the parts, what are the key specifications, what makes this unique, what does it smell, sound, feel, taste like, what's it made from, who created it, what are the technical features, and where, why, and how do you use it. Okay, so those are features, and, and that's a good starting point for most of you to try to come up with uh, for your business concept. So take a few minutes and write down as many of those as you can uh, using the guide of identifying the features that I've got um, uh, uh, for you. But what's really important is once you've done that exercise, you've identified all the features that you can identify, is you want to start converting those into benefits. Uh, again, as I said in class, benefits sell, S-E-L-L, features tell. So you, now you've told me what it's all about, but now tell me what's in it for me. Uh, what am I going to get in exchange for uh, my time, my trouble, my trust, my money, and your product or service? What kind of benefits do I get? Uh, what am I going to receive? What am I going to enjoy? And what's the user uh, experience um, going to look like? Um, and let me walk you through that um, with an example. So let's take a look at uh, a car. Let's say that uh, you're at the dealership and they're telling you about this new model and it's got a better suspension system. And the dealer thinks I care about cars, so he's going all over, you know, stabilization control and reduced wheel stiffness. But I'm standing there with my wife and let's pretend we have a, a newborn kid. What they're, we're going to be concerned about and what she's going to hear is she doesn't really give a, a wit about stabilization control, but she's going to be very concerned, as am I as a new dad, about reduced rollover risk. Or maybe uh, we're our age now, well, my wife and I are in our 50s, and we think, hey, you know what, I don't really care about wheel stiffness, but I really do care about improved uh, ride and, and, and comfort. So I hope this helps to understand. So you take features and we convert them uh, into benefits. One of the easiest ways to help discover what your benefits are is to ask yourself the question, so what? So let's go through a silly example using a banana. So bananas are slippery peels, they're soft and mushy, and they have potassium. So what's the so what for slippery peel? Well, if you slip and fall on it, it could create a great laugh. Soft and mushy. So what? It's easy for kids, elderly people maybe who've lost, have, have dentures, etc., uh, to eat. Uh, potassium. So what? Well, it improves your health by reducing cramping. So, so what is a really good question uh, to ask yourself when you're thinking about um, features um, and, and, and benefits. And again, in the handout, I've given you a whole bunch of ways to translate that. So besides so what, you could ask yourself questions like, why should I care? What does this mean to me? How is my life better because of this? This feature makes it possible for, numerically, specifically, it delivers what? And that's important because, and that's valuable because, and this makes it possible too, and that means it can. So you don't have to use all of those prompts. You don't have to try to translate every feature using all those things, but try them on some of them to try to come up with what you think your, your, your benefits of your features are. So to summarize this first part of the features uh, and benefits discussion, features tell, benefits sell. Features are what the product or service does, Benefits are the reason customers are going to buy uh, your product or service. So at this point now, uh, take a pause. Um, there's still a couple more slides to go. But the idea here would be you would start to list out all your features using the prompts, then translate those features into benefits using uh, the, the prompts. So now that you've got a whole list of benefits, so let's say you came up with 5 to 10 features, and off those 5 to 10 features, you've got another 5, 10, 15 benefits. Now the challenge is to reduce those down to the ones that you think are the most important for the particular kind of target market uh, you're looking at. And where this comes into play is research has shown us that if you've got one or two benefits, your chances of your product or your service being successful is about 44%. But perhaps counterintuitively for most of us, the more benefits we have, 
the less likely it's going to be successful. Um, you could probably uh, start to figure that out. Uh, one of the reasons is that you've made it more confusing uh, for people. So the bottom line is try to do one or two things really great rather than throw everything at the kitchen sink and hope something uh, sticks. And let's go through a couple of examples. Let's pretend we're on a little bit of a road trip and we're driving along and we see this uh, on, on the roadside. Um, this makes it seem like they do everything and probably not anything really well. Um, and in case you didn't think they did everything, uh, way on the far end on takeout it's got etc. Um, so again, those are the kind of places it's kind of hard to say you want to stop at because you're not comfortable that they do anything uh, really well. So let's say you and your friends passed the first one by because you weren't sure exactly what they do. Uh, it looked like it was too, too, too broad. Now you pass this and you're saying to yourself and you ask the other people in the car, what the heck is Epicurean food uh, and wine? I know if it was me, I'd probably keep on going because it looks expensive uh, to me. So bottom line here is confusion uh, or uncertainty is not a really good strategy uh, uh, for success. So the golden rule that we've got in entrepreneurship about features and benefits is never let a customer say no because what you offer doesn't apply to them. Or, sorry, <laughs> let a customer say no because what you offer them doesn't apply to them. But never, ever, ever let a customer say no because they don't understand uh, what you're offering. So again, translate your features into benefits and pick from those benefits for a particular type of customer that you're going after what you think the top one or two uh, things are. And now let's talk about value propositions. So the last thing uh, for this presentation is you need to pick uh, what value proposition you're offering to what particular uh, kind of customer. So this is in your textbook pages 22 to 25 and you need to choose. So you need to, to pick from this list what you think your, your value proposition uh, is. So I'm not going to read them out loud. You've got uh, the textbook to refer to. So go ahead through those. You can pick more than one um, as long as you've got uh, some, some good rationale for it. So you need to pick it and then say why you think that that's your, your, your value proposition. So again, to recap what you're going to be doing um, is you're going to tell us uh, the problem uh, or the opportunity uh, that you've identified. So you're going to give us a quick description of your business concept. You're going to tell us what those features are. Then you're going to translate those features into the top two benefits uh, that you think your features deliver and then you're going to pick one or two at the most from this list of value propositions. Tell us what that is and explain why you chose that. Okay, good luck.